Hello, <laughs> What's <laughs> back? <laughs> no one's off. It's fine. Um, I'm Christina. <laughs> Welcome. Oh, we have two Christinas here today. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, um, Hope is here, and we're, we're speaking with Lisa uh, in Brilliance and So Bubbles, and we're so happy to have you on. <sighs> well, yes, I'm happy to be here. Yes, if you guys don't know Lisa, she is uh, our extraordinary, awesome, wonderful um, teacher for Brilliance, and um, yeah. We're going to dig into that here in just one second. Before we do that, our next show for Everything Embroidery Market is in Lafayette, Louisiana in like eight days. So, wow, it's right around the corner. You guys need to hop over to our website, eemshows.com. You'll see a full list of our vendors. You'll see all of our awesome classes. We have over 100, or I'm sorry, not 100. We have over 50 classes. It feels like over a hundred sometimes. It does. it does, but we've got a whole bunch of classes all across the board, business, vinyl, embroidery, software, um, just all kinds of stuff. And you want to check those out and sign up because it's going to be awesome. Okay. I was amazed at the plethora of classes, the variety you guys had this year. I mean, it was amazing because I go through just to check how the status of mine are doing. And I see you've got the sublimation classes, then you've got some new uh, Scanica classes, the white toner. I'm like, holy smokes, there is something for everyone in there. Mm. Yes. Hold on. Um, sorry. <laughs> yes. No, and I agree. It's, um, it's always fun. You know, sometimes we have some of the same classes from previous weeks, but they're always a little bit different um, because of the people in the classroom. And then we always try and bring something new based on what um, previous attendees have told us that they want. And it's always fun to hear what people learned and what they're excited about. And um, I don't know, it's always a good time. If you're in the garment decorating industry at all, even if it's for crafting personal use, or if you're doing it for a business or considering doing it for a business, or you want to learn a new trade, um, you need to come to everything embroidery market. If you want to make your crafting into a business, we got yes. classes for that too. Yes. <laughs> okay. So let's jump in, Lisa, and talk first our workshops. So on Friday, Lisa's teaching two workshops. What do we have? Yes, it's our static gone. Um, yes. so yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just want to make sure. <laughs> Gotta keep resend this computer issues that we have here. And let's hope all the computer issues stay away from Lafayette. Because yeah. when we do hands on classes, you bring your own computers with you to class and we work on the, and we do hands on workshops. So we don't like when the computer gremlins come come to hands-on classes. I know our the essentials class sell, sold out. It's been sold out for a few weeks now. That that just happens. That's why I warn people, you have to sign up soon. Um, I think we only had like 20 spots left in the stitch artist class. Yeah. So potentially that could sell out. So if you are on the fence, they nice. I know, they do. And then someone shows up and they're like, oh, I thought I could buy a ticket at the door. I'm well, sorry. <laughs> Can't add more seats. There's yeah. only a set room. Can't get a bigger room. So this is, if you're on the fence for Stitch Artist, you can use the demo version. You could just try it out. I mean, invest two and a half hours in learning and seeing if it's something you like. See what digitizing is all about. We have a lot of fun. Yeah. It's, it's great. And like you said, every single show, there are people that we have to turn, turn away. And they're oh. upset and they're like, you know, sometimes I came here just for this class. We sold out, you know. <laughs> um, it, so if awesome. you're considering it, get your ticket like now. 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 Yes. Now is the time. Yep. Because oh. I'm, I'm just going to go on the, I mean, every time your workshops sell out. So. Yeah. 
That's it's, just, it's just what happens. People wait to the very last minute. Yeah. And I gave away, uh, this is six tickets today, possibly. And all of those can add on that Stitch Artist class onto their, their free tickets that they got. So, you know, um, don't yeah. delay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And exactly. y'all, everyone, um, everyone likes to wait a minute and wait till the very end. And then they, they sign up. So we're going to have an influx of people signing up. So they will be gone. I, they always gone. happen. So there's your, there's your warning. Um, and we're excited about it. We love when they sell out. That means people are learning good stuff about embryos. So mm -hmm. let's go back or not go back, go forward. So that's Friday. That's what you have on Friday. And then mm -hmm. also after that, we have an awesome sip and shop. So if you don't yes. make it in that class, you can um, chat with Lisa for a little bit, although her booth's normally pretty busy. <laughs> um, you'll be able to see Lisa as well as all of our other vendors inside the vendor hall. Um, and there is a cash bar available to you. And it's a really fun time to just have that first look at all the product and um, just get ready for a fun weekend. So Yeah, the sip and shop is great because you either, people use it to browse, and just to get a, a layout of the land and see what's there. And I know some vendors have special sales that are going on only during that preview. So, you know, it's a, sometimes it, people just come to shop. Yeah. Yeah. So. No, no it's, it's a good time. Um, that's one of my most fun times because that like everyone's energy is high and they're excited and, and I love it. Okay. Yes. And if you're, if you're booked in classes all day on Saturday and Sunday, it's a really good time to just go and see what they have, you know, do your shopping or browse and then you can shop in between classes, but right. Highly suggest it. Okay. So class number one on Saturday, Lisa's packed full. Lisa's going <laughs> to be tired, but it's going to be good. Okay. So class number one, we have making and brilliance work for you. That's another one that, um, is very popular. You're actually, I think you're teaching that one twice. Um, one on yes. Display and one and on it's display. never the same class twice. <laughs> I start out with my little presentation getting ready and kaboom, we go off on a tangent because the whole class is how to make in brilliant software do what you need it to do you know what do you need to add which program what tips and tricks to make your life easier because that's what software is supposed to do it's supposed to make your life easier so i go through all the programs we answer all the questions talk about settings and samples and tricks and tricks and it's uh it's so popular that we have to offer it twice and it's different both days yeah. so so if you're if you're just wanting to know what in brilliance is and just an overview, that's that's a great class for you. It's it's an hour, so you're not going to be able to dig in deep, but mm -hmm. it will it will it's enough to just be like, oh, I I'm going yep. to I love this program. You know, you'll know by the end of that class. I want to I want to continue, and mm -hmm. you know maybe you'll know what portion of the software will work for for your business or your hobby. So, okay, so the next one we have is Digitizing 101. That's on Saturday at 9.45. Yes. What you got there? Well, first of all, I see Joe Rita's watching, and I have to say hello to Joe Rita because she's always trying. She's always trying to. Uh, she loves going to trade shows, and I know Joe Rita thinks if you go to a trade show, you learn so much from being in person and actually getting information. So um, that's what the digitizing the digitizing one hundred and one class is. Um, it's a primer. It's not nuts and bolts digitizing. It is for to figure out is this something I want. If it's if you're just a beginner and you got you have digitizing software, where do you get started? Um, we talk about the basic stitch types and how to actually create stitches. Now, of course, I'm working in the Embryon software. So we're going to be focusing on stitch artists. It's not a hands on class, but the information that I give can be used towards any program. In fact, it was so funny. It was in Biloxi two years ago or last year. I don't know, time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> but I had a whole group of new business owners that were in the class taking digitizing, thinking that they wanted to invest in digitizing software. 
And once they saw the class and realized that it's not just click, poof, done. Ooh, I have beautiful stitches. Yeah. And it, they realized, okay, paying X amount of dollars to a digitizer. And they learned how to have a good conversation with that digitizer. So they weren't going back and forth, getting poor results mm -hmm. or guessing or hoping that they got, you know, the results they wanted. So it's a lot of education in the background, the terminology, so that you understand what digitizing is and you just can't send this little, you know, graphic or something and say, oh, make me a design. Yeah. You, you, it's not like what you get. <laughs> I think that, or I know that there are sometimes people will take this class and do just that and say, you know what, I'd rather buy it. And then they come back here and they take it again because now they feel like I'm ready to take it to the next level. And exactly. So, um, you know, wherever you are in, in your timeline here, I think. I, it, it's a great class to take. And like you said, even if you've taken it before, it's different every time. Yep. So. Uh, people, is, they gather what is possible and what they want to invest their time in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Absolutely. Absolutely. So now, this one's exciting because it's new for us. Um, you're going to be doing digitizing lettering. Yes. So this is a more advanced type class. So it because it, this is going to go into a lot of the theory and thing, things you have to think about when digitizing lettering. You know, if you think about lettering, everyone says, oh, it's just a simple lettering logo. Well, I, lettering is like one of the most difficult things to envision because if you think about the letter A, it's a black blob on your screen with a cross through the bar. Well, the embroidery machine needs to know how the stitches need to go, what direction. is. It's really three pieces, maybe four pieces, maybe more. I mean, what everything that goes into this, it's not just click, poof, done. <laughs> so we are going to be talking about how to digitize your own lettering, whether it's script or block or, you know, all sorts of lettering, monograms and sh yeah. all sorts of stuff. So it's a new class. It is uh, for someone that, well, I'm thinking has some digitizing experience or maybe again, they're thinking, oh, I want to digitize my own lettering. And then they realize that's why BX fonts are the bomb. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. And I'm happily happy to pay yeah. for those. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I think that's something I've heard too. Like, why is the font more expensive than this other thing? It's because there's so many letters and you have capital and you have lowercase and it takes mm -hmm. a whole lot of time. But if you have that font that you love, you mm -hmm. will use it again and again and again. So Exactly. Um, and then there's some times where you can mix it up. Maybe you only need to, di to digitize the script, the stylized capital letter, and then the rest could be a, is a separate. So you spend the time on the first letter, and that's all you do. But you want it to look good. Yeah. So we're going to go into all those details. That's so it's going to be a fun class. Yeah, that's can't we? A really, a really good one. Um, okay, so the next class. This one's on Saturday at one fifteen. You're going to be mm -hmm. doing neckline embroidery. Yes, this is a fan favorite at yes. Everything Embroidery Market. Fan favorite. In fact, it looks like we're getting close to selling out that class. Yes. <laughs> so yes. it's always very popular. They're um, so cute. I mean, and I feel like it's such a great gift for people. And there's so many different things you can put on there. And I just like, and I love the necklace. I mean, surprisingly, I have another. I thought that's the sweatshirt I had on. It has my name on it. But uh -huh. <laughs> two green that are very similar. <laughs> Apparently I didn't put that one on today, but I think neckline embroidery is just so cute. Mm -hmm. And I mean, if you don't know how to do it, this is the class yeah. for you. I, I gave away some several for Christmas for family members and they were so mm -hmm. excited. You know, it's just something simple, just a name, but it elevates just a, a basic sweatshirt or t-shirt or whatever so yeah. much that it's like, so cute. <laughs> Absolutely. But it's a great way of showing, you know, fan support. So mm -hmm. I know a, a few people do this for soccer moms. They've everyone's wearing, you know, go dogs or whatever on their yeah. shirts without actually personalizing it, um, doing it in school colors, holidays, mm -hmm. um, inspirational quotes, you name it, you can yeah. do it. Yeah. <laughs> I think they're adorable and uh. I understand why the class sells out. It, 
Yeah. yeah. The other thing that we do cover in that class, though, that can be applied to other stuff is, you know, when you do that neckline embroidery, it has to be in the right spot. <laughs> it can't be off. It's really obvious when it's off. Everyone says, ooh, well, that's nice. So we go through a lot of the precise placement and how to use templates and tricks in your software and how to use at the machine because we actually step through at the machine via photos, not with a machine. <laughs> <laughs> but walk through the entire process so there are no mistakes. You know exactly what's going to happen. And that technique can be applied to anything, whether it's a Peter Pan collar, um, the back of a, of a ball cap. Mm -hmm. That's my new sample for this year is the back of a ball. You want to embroider around the circle and the ball cap? Easy yeah. peasy. You know, if, as long because you're going to know exactly where it's going to go and how to shape that lettering to work. Right. Well, and people get intimidated because it's something where like, you know, they're used to just going straight, straight exactly. easy. Yeah. But how do you curve the letter to fit the mm -hmm. curve of the neckline? Because yeah. they're all a little bit different, right? Exactly. Um, I love that. And the placement is is a big e. deal. Not just for that, for, for all things embroidery. I can't tell you when I started how many things I messed up where I'm like, ooh, I, I got it right. And then I pulled it off and I'm like, ooh. It's under the armpit. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> The embroidery looks good, but <laughs> let's talk about where it's located. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> no. exactly. Improper locations. Yes, yes. Oops. <laughs> okay. So <gasps> the next one, this one's on Sunday morning. This one is always one of my favorites because I get to be in there too. Uh, I don't get to go in. <laughs> like, what class? I don't know. Like, the class. You don't know which one it is. <laughs> oh, the, vendor, the vendor. It's not. Uh, <laughs> do you don't <laughs> What am I teaching? <laughs> Whoa, panic. How to give the teacher a heart attack. <laughs> okay, well, we always have fun at EPM and we roll with it. <laughs> no, so this one, I'm not on the panel. It's our vendor meet and greet panel. Um, it's amazing because we'll have Lisa Shaw and several other industry experts, um, Nikki the Sassy Subber, um, Richard with SewingMachine.com, we have Stephanie with Caesar Vinyl, um, you know, and basically what it is is we have these experts up at the front of the room and you guys get to lead the whole class. Um, yeah. You ask questions and they're, everyone at the front row gets to answer it and you're going to have different perspectives from each one, all of which have been in the industry for a number of years and have, have their experience that they can share with you. Um, and sometimes we learn stuff from the audience too, because it's interactive, um, it's fun, it's different every single time. And also before the event, before the, the class starts, you guys get to come in a little bit early, talk with the um, vendor panelists, as well mm -hmm. as the other people that are in the class enjoy coffee that's included in the price as well as some um, donuts and whatnot. And <laughs> it's a good time, it really is. And I've always left that that class and been like, oh, I just wish that was a little longer. I want, I wish it was, it's fun. Um, it is. And this time, so we, I love it so much that we have made it to where you can win a seat in that class so um, if you guys have registered which i hope you have and if you haven't um, do so and in your confirmation email there's an image that says i'm attending eem or i'm not sure exactly what the wording is but if you post that on your social media and let us know we'll give you a free ticket to that class it's oh wow it's really a cool thing and you don't want to miss it um, no. Just make sure to email us saying that you posted it because sometimes <laughs> we don't see them. Yeah. We want to. We want to see all of them. Yes. And we're search. We search, but I don't want to. I don't want to. To miss it because we can't find it. Facebook sometimes is. Um, yeah. So um, send us an email. You can do that at customer service at eem shows with an s dot com, and uh, we'll we'll get you signed up with a ticket. And I just, I feel like everyone needs to be in that class because it's fun and Oh, we learn a lot. It's a great, you do a great job moderating the class and giving us weird questions to answer. 
get us started. <laughs> I'm like, oh, let's let's think about this at eight o'clock in the morning. <laughs> but it, it's a great way to start your day. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, it's a it's a really it's a good time. Um, and Lisa's done it every time we've done it. Um, it's seriously one that I look forward to um, every time. So. Yeah, it, I like it simply because I the audience questions. It's in it's it's nice to get rejuvenated to realize that there's oh there's people that's interested in in getting experience because they're starting out, mm -hmm. and that's just so invigorating. And whether they're just starting out with embroidery or starting out with a business or they're already in business and they have tips and tricks to share with everybody else. Yeah. Wow, I mean that the last discussion I think was on organizing and yeah that's not my forte so you know. <laughs> Well, I feel like we touched base on a whole lot of things, you know? Absolutely. People were it's in time. there to talk. Uh, they wanted to learn from everybody, but some people went because they had a question specifically for you. Some people came because they had a, a, a question specific um, to equipment. They wanted to talk to Richard or sublimation. Um, mm -hmm. And, you know, Stephanie was great talking about her vinyl. And um, it, it was just a really, it, it's always great. So, yeah. Um, either sign up things. or share that picture because you don't want to miss it. Um, it's, it's wonderful. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah. So I think that wraps us up for everything Lisa Shaw's teaching. Um, but again, our website has everything listed on there. You'll be able to see all the vendors. You'll be able to see all the classes. You can click. There's descriptions. There's links to the um individual websites for those vendors so that you can really have a good idea of what's going to be at everything embroidery market and we want you to do that we want you to dig in and gain as much as you can while you're there in person so do that Absolutely. before you get there because you're not going to have time when you get there you're going to be yeah. Just enjoying it. <laughs> yes. And I, I have to give you guys a kudos because you got some great new vendors in there, and, including, um, you know, recruiting those that have been vendors in the past, like my friend Susan from All About Blanks. Best towels out there. She's bringing a whole bunch of stuff. But you brought like Pe uh, the Victoria from Pelon's going to be there. Wow. I mean, what a great addition to the show. So, and the, so there's a whole bunch of them, uh, you know, yeah. all over my head right yeah. now. But it was just like, oh, uh, this is where some of the people that I saw that you had listed here, you can't see them. You can't go to Joanne's and meet the Pelon representative. Yeah. It's not going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> but you can buy their products there. So to get that one-on-one -on -one with the in the vendor hall, you have such a great variety. Uh, and maybe, hopefully, I'm not going home with a laser this time. Because... <laughs> I I just I see all the cool stuff that you guys have and you know have to add to my room. Yeah. <laughs> have to solve this. Yeah. Uh. I have to like set my budget and be like and then sometimes my husband's not gonna be there this time to tell me no. So uh -oh. <laughs> just saying I don't there know. There might not be a budget. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> oh man. Okay, well, um, and you guys have them already, make sure you go to EEMshows.com, sign up, um, Lafayette, Louisiana, it's going to be right, it's next week, so yes. it's right around the corner, sign up today. All Thanks right. for having me, guys. Thank you. All right. Bye.